It is indeed rare in the history of mankind that great souls like Bhagirath and Dadiji graced the earth with the nectar of the holy Ganges and nurtured the roots of divinity by their tap and self-sacrifice. Pandit Ram Sharma Acharyaji undoubtedly belongs to this category of divine rishis. His life and work represent a marvelous synthesis of the noble thoughts and deeds of great personalities like Swami Vivekananda, Sri Aurobindo, Mahatma Gandhi, Socrates and Confucius. Pandit Ram Sharma Acharyaji was a rishi of the present age whose heart pulsated with compassion for all beings. Every moment of his life was devoted to the welfare of people and the refinement of the moral and cultural environment. He also pioneered the revival of spirituality and creative integration of the modern and ancient sciences and religion, relevant in the challenges circumstances of the present times. His personality was a harmonious blend of a saint, a spiritual scientist, a yogi, a philosopher, a psychologist, a writer, a reformer, a freedom fighter, researcher, eminent scholar, and what not else, a visionary. He successfully practiced and mastered the highest kinds of sadhanas described in the Hindu texts. He also deciphered the hidden signs of Tantra. He attained the supreme knowledge of the philosophy and signs of the Gayatri, Mantra and Yoga. In a sense, he perfected a vast range of spiritual disciplines. He pioneered experiments on simple sadhanas which could be easily pursued by the common masses. He initiated programs of spiritual and intellectual refinement of millions of people without any discrimination of religion, caste, creed, gender or social status. He propagated this knowledge for the enlightenment of people across the globe. He also described and explained yoga in terms of a common man. The art of living, he said, is yoga. The way in which you make your life a better for others is yoga. Panishram Sharma Acharyaji established Gayatri Tapo Bhumi at Mathura in 1953 and organized a grand Gayatri Yagya in 1958 which served as a base to launch the Yug Nirmani Yojana, a global movement for moral, cultural, intellectual and spiritual refinement and reconstruction. The objectives of this movement are to reform the individual and the family and social values of mankind, to change the current ideologies and concepts of morality and social structure of a better tomorrow. The period 1971 to 1990 witnessed remarkable multifaceted accomplishments of Acharyaji's life. He climbed the arduous and mystic heights of the Himalayas several times and stayed there for specific sadhanas as per the guidance of his guru. In 1971, he instituted missions headquarters at Shantikunj Haridwar as an academy for moral and spiritual awakening and training. He, here he began revival of ancient spiritual disciplines that were the hallmarks of Indian culture and it still continues today.